mass shootings in the news, there's a lot of talk about guns in the national media. Joel Crane tells us what position North Dakota is taking on the gun debate. In short, the North Dakota legislature's approach to guns has been to expand gun rights. Brandon Charvet is happy with the state's approach to gun issues. We're pro-gun here in North Dakota, so I, I mean, I, we're doing a good job, I think. The legislature rejected several bills this session that would have expanded concealed carry in places like the Capitol and on college campuses. But it wasn't exactly a rebuke of the Second Amendment. We created a significant study that will get down into the nitty gritty of each location that we say no to right now. And then we'll have a bill coming out next session to look at each of these places and to say whether we can or we cannot carry a sidearm in those facilities. The rush of new gun legislation came from a recent Supreme Court ruling, which struck down a New York gun safety law as unconstitutional. That said that in order to say a person cannot carry a weapon or concealed weapon in a certain place, the each state has to have a historical value placed on that location. And in Brandon's opinion, bolstering Second Amendment rights at the state level is a good idea. A lot of these shootings that are going on in the last couple of years are on college campuses and places like that. So I think if they're expanding that, that's just going to help protect us a little more. Of course, some people who testified against these bills would disagree. The legislature will work with the Attorney General's office in the interim to determine where concealed carry can be expanded. Now, there were some gun bills that were rejected outright. One of them, for example, is a bill that would prohibit North Dakota from instituting red flag laws. The bill aimed at expanding concealed carry will be introduced in 2025.